So today I am going to talk to you about the good, the bad, and the ugly about living in an HOA here in Utah. So let's jump into it. So a new report came out from the U.S. Census Bureau saying that over 80% of newly built 2022 homes in the United States are a part of an HOA. So it is a reality. Here in Utah, iProperty Management reported in October of 2022 that there are over 3,500 homeowners associations in Utah and nearly 20% of the population in Utah lives in an HOA community, which means that's over 250,000 homes in an HOA like the ones you see behind me. Living in an HOA is not for everybody, not by any stretch of the imagination. So some of the good things about living in an HOA is it does help maintain your neighborhood and that can make it more desirable for buyers when it comes time to selling your property because they hold the value by maintaining the neighborhood. You don't have rundown junky cars sitting in your driveway or in your yard that deters buyers and makes them think, ooh, this neighborhood's rundown. You don't have your Christmas decorations out in July usually. The yards are gonna be nicely kept so you don't have dead grass or just dirt or you know things like that for curb appeal that buyers look at in the neighborhood when they're driving to a house. Next, there are some HOA communities that have security patrol in them. So it gives people the feeling that somebody's always watching and patrolling the neighborhood and gives that sense of safety. Next, some of the HOAs, depending on if you're in a single family home or you're in a townhouse like these behind me or condo building, depends on the HOA, but some will take care of the exterior maintenance. Some take care of replacing roofs when time comes for that. So there's some of those extra expenses that you may not have to worry about depending on the HOA. And then there's amenities. So you're typically going to have more amenities available to you living in an HOA community than if you were not in an HOA community. Some have pools, some have walking trails, some have playgrounds. It just really depends. But you do typically, like I say, have more amenities in an HOA. Now this could be good or bad, but they do typically have rental restrictions on your HOA. So some people love that, some people hate it. It depends on where you're at. And once rental capacity is met, that's it. You have to wait for an opening if you want to rent your property out. Okay, and let's talk about some of the bad being in an HOA. Well, there are rules and then there are more rules for those rules, if you get what I'm saying. Some people just can't live with that and having all the rules and the restrictions that an HOA will have. So like I said at the beginning, living in an HOA is definitely not for everybody. Second, and this is a big one, you're at the HOA's mercy for any charges, fines, fees, disputes you may have, things like that. So um, that's a big thing. You know, if if they repair something in your neighborhood, you're at their mercy for what they charge, if they're going to charge you, things like that. Now, the other thing is your HOA board is made up of volunteers that are homeowners in your community. And everybody comes from a different background and def different experience. So HOAs are a business and you need an HOA to be run like a business. So if the board members are not business minded individuals or they don't understand the ins and outs, maybe they don't understand the importance of hiring a licensed contractor contractor to do repairs in your subdivision that carries insurance in case they do any damage in your subdivision, the homeowners aren't out that money. Things like that you are going to be more susceptible to with a board because like I said, they're volunteers. They're just trying to do the best they can for their neighborhood, but that does not mean they know exactly what they need to know for running a community. So if you're thinking about making a real estate move, I'd love to connect with you. You can shoot me a text, send me an email, do what you got to do, but get in touch with me. If you have more questions about homeowners associations, again, reach out to me. I am always here to help, but as always, make it a great day.